what is up YouTube, that's here, bringing you guys another VGC 2016 battle. Today we are going up against Claudio, who is using Kangaskhan, Kirim White, Primal Groudon, and Cresselia. We're going to be using Wall Togekiss, Primal Groudon of our own, a Banded Talonflame, and a Mega Rayquaza. The point of my team is to potentially get up a Tailwind, pop those Follow Me's for days, and just slam on fast, hard-hitting moves. You got Extreme Speed on Ray, you got... Brave Bird on Talonflame, and we're just trying to pin our opponents in, really limit the amount of switching they can do, and just kind of gimp them out of the game. We're trying to pin these Pokemon and just priority them down before they can actually take me out. So we're just going to be starting this thing off, getting right into it, and going up against a team that has Kurem White in it, one of my personal favorites. I know Reshiram is actually my favorite Uber, but uh, Reshiram sadly isn't very usable. You're just much better off going with this guy. It's pretty fast. It's extremely strong. So Kirin White definitely a Pokemon to watch out for. Remember, it has that Dragon Ice typing. It doesn't stab its Fire type moves. But thanks to my Groudon's, uh, what is it, Primal Desolate Land Garbage ability, it's going to make it so it can still hit really hard. He also has a Groudon of his own to activate that. So I'm just going to be activating my Desolate Land. Uh, all the Fire-type moves are going to be super strong for as long as Groudon's on the board. And I just eat a Fake Out right in the face. I was thinking of going for a Protect Tailwind, but I figured I should probably try to double attack and force a potential Fake Out on my Togekiss. He's deciding to go with an Ice Beam on that thing, and uh, I actually live because it's full HP Special D, and I lived with like 40 HP. That's just how strong this guy is. Groudon's going to flinch, but I am going to get my Tailwind off, which is super good for me. So Tailwind's going to go for the next three turns. It's going to make all my Pokemon twice as fast, and hopefully it's going to let me have a little bit of a power play. So he's going to switch out his Kang for Crest. Remember, Cresselia has access to that ability, uh, Levitate, which is going to pretty much make it sure it avoids all this damage from uh, Precipice Blades. I actually hit the Precipice Blade on the Kyurem, and I'm thinking I'm just going to Air Slash the Kyurem to, er, to flinch it, right? He's faster than me. He's faster than my Togekiss in a Tailwind. And I'm like, oh, it's Choice Scarf. And I have no problem with Choice Scarf on Kyurem. Personally, that's probably what I would use as well. It just makes sense to me. Uh, but I just wouldn't leave with it. Like, it's so dangerous to leave with a Choice Scarf Pokemon in this format. And you could really punish it hard. But uh, since we know that it's Scarfed, it can't really protect. We're just going to pop a Brave Bird on it. I was thinking of nuking the Cresselia slot and stopping it from setting up a Trick Room. But I'm like, I don't think my Talonflame can just eat Ice Beams all day. So I figure I'm just going to let Cresselia get up a Trick Room. Remember, I have Talonflame summoning priority moves. Groudon is relatively bulky. And I still have uh, my Rayquaza in the back. And that also has access to Extreme Speed, which is a plus two priority. So I let him get the Trick Room up. He's going to come with his Groudon here. And this is where I regret letting him get the Trick Room up altogether. <laughs> I mean, I, I could have just went for something different, but it is what it is. His Groudon's on the board, and I'm sure, since he has Trick Room on his crest, his Groudon probably is made for that matchup. It's probably better than my Jolly Full Speed Groudon is, for sure. So I'm deciding to switch in my Rayquaza here. I don't know if his Groudon is physical or special. Either way, I'm assuming he's either going for a Precipice Blade or an Earth Power. As I slam a Brave Bird into that Groudon, critical hit doing about 70%, and, uh... This is where he also skill swaps his Groudon. It looks like he was potentially trying to take out my Talonflame and avoid my Groudon's damage uh, through use of gaining Intimidate on his Groudon. So that is a really cool way to play. I like using Crest Groudon as well, exclusively for that little combo. But thanks to my Rayquaza, I'm pretty sure this is how this works. You know that he's going for the Overheat. If this was boosted in the sun, I'm pretty sure the stabbed Overheat would have taken out Talonflame. I know you can still see the sun on the board, but Rayquaza's airlock ability pretty much nullifies the effects of fire-type moves. So I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, anyways, we're already going past that. We have Mega Rayquaza on the board here for me. This thing's ability is Delta Stream. It's going to make sure all of my Pokemon that are flying-type take reduced damage from rock and ice and I believe electric-type attacks. So, I mean, Talonflame can still take water attacks, Rayquaza can still take dragon and fairy attacks, but most moves that would hit flying-type Pokemon for super effective, like this Ice Beam on my Talonflame, are going to do uh, less damage. I know it says neutral on Talonflame, but it does hit Talonflame's flying-typing for super effective, so that's why Delta Stream was able to weaken the attack, which definitely let my Talonflame live that move, which is super cool use of Delta Stream right there. 
So uh, I think he switched in, the Kangaskhan there switched into a huge extreme speed. That is just a gross amount of damage. As well as Brave Bird, I think I'm targeting the Kangaskhan as well. Like I said, we really want to limit the amount of switching my opponent can do. Uh, I just believe that switching is just so hard in VGC 2016. If you can pin your opponent down with priority moves, strong priority moves like this extreme speed and the banded Brave Bird, it gets to a point where even if they switch, they switch into a thing just like my opponent did there and just take a hit and lose a Pokemon anyways. So we see that I lost my, uh, yeah, Talonflame went down to recoil. Rayquaza took damage from the Ice Beam. That is going to break the Sash on my Rayquaza. But this is where I think I'm going to close this game out. There's a few things that I could really do here. Note that he still has his Trick Room up. So we're going to see him pop a Helping Hand on his Groudon. And I know that the Groudon is physical, so I'm not really that afraid of it. I'm going to go with a Protect on my Groudon. But which is going to be the really good play here is I could have went for an Extreme Speed with my Ray. I'm going to go with a Protect. I'd like to just wait the Trick Room out. I'm pretty sure this is the last turn. And he goes for an Iron Head on my Ray. That definitely would have KO'd. I'm pretty sure. I don't have any uh, stat drops from Dragon's Ascent yet. But uh, it was boost by Helping Hand, so it would have KO'd. So this is where we pretty much win the game. We note that Groudon's not really going to be able to KO any of both of my Pokemon at the same time. Sorry, he can KO them one at a time for sure. But he can't KO them both at the same time. So what we do is we nuke the Cresselia. Uh, luckily for us, he protects. But even if he didn't, um, he would be able to kill one, and then both my Pokemon are faster than him. He's at like a third, I would have been able to take him out. So, Groudon protected, Cresselia ate the double attack, and I am going to pick up the win over Claudio, who's using a pretty cool Choice Scarf Kurem White in a Trick Room team. I think that's just a really cool way to use that Pokemon. I had a good time playing this battle, I hope you guys liked it as well. If you have any, uh, ideas for how to make my team better, or thoughts on the battle, or just thoughts on Kurem White in general... Leave those in the comments section below. I'll try to get to everyone. And like I said, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this format. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.